Let's take a start with IELTS speaking part one. I'm going to ask you some questions. What is your favorite color and why? Actually, I have uh, many favorite colors, but black is my favorite color. Why? Because uh, it attracts me and uh, uh, black is also a uh, very attractive color. Uh, whenever I uh, going to any... Whenever I go to? Whenever I go to any wedding or any other ceremony, I wear it and uh, people appreciate me also. Okay. When you go for shopping, do you prefer to buy black clothes? Uh, actually, uh, often I do shopping. Uh, I buy almost all uh, kind of clothes or color which uh, have all colors, but uh, I uh, bought, I have bought uh, clothes that I usually buy, I usually buy black, clothes. black clothes. Do you think colors affect our mood? Yeah, of course, uh, I uh, agree that color affect on your colors mood. affect our color mood. affect our mood uh, if you wear uh, some white color uh, then uh, i think uh, uh, our mood uh, will become very well and uh, uh, if we uh, some other color uh, is it goes to person to person okay do you prefer bright colors or dark colors uh, i prefer dark colors most of uh, but uh, it depends on season to season in uh, uh, summer, I prefer to bright colors and uh, in winter, some Okay, color. that's good. Now we move on to part three. Uh, sorry, part two. Describe an ambition that you have for a long time. Yes. Right? You should say what it is means what ambition is, uh, what you did for it, when can you achieve it, and explain why you have this ambition. So please, you can start. Thinking, thinking about any ambitions is very important uh, to go through the life. Uh, many people uh, uh, thinking about ambitions. Many people think about. Many, many people think about ambitious ambitions. Uh, ambition to set their goal. Uh, so I have. We cannot survive here without any ambitions. So I have uh, many ambitions, but uh, I have many ambitions. I have many ambitions, but here I uh, discuss one of them. My uh, main ambition in my, is uh, to uh, give a comfortable life to my family. Actually, I belong to a family uh, who is not uh, financially so strong. So uh, my family have to do a lot of my work. My family has to do. My family has to do a lot, a lot of work, a lot of struggle uh, for finances. Uh, so uh, I have to do a lot of work and a lot of struggle. Um, actually, I have uh, passed my master degree, so uh, now I would like to go to abroad for high, higher education. I would education. like to go abroad. I would like to go abroad for higher education, uh, uh, and after I hope that after getting education, I will get a job with a very level salary. Uh, actually, uh, my uh, some relatives living there in UK, and uh, they are living a very uh, lavish style. So my parents uh, also uh, wants to me that want uh, me want me that uh, we can live that uh, type of life. So they have uh, uh, collect a lot of money for me. They have collected a lot they of money for me. They have collected a lot of money for me. For okay, that's fine. This is really good. Keep it up. Although there were grammatical mistakes, but overall you were producing good language, right? Mm -hmm. Good job. Let's go on. What kinds of ambition do people have? People have uh, a lot of kind of uh, ambition. Uh, some people uh, have ambition to mm, do good in uh, life. Uh, I think some people have uh, ambitions to uh, get a higher education. Uh, some people have uh, ambitions to get a uh, very well job. And some it, have to go Instead up of it. saying some people have, then <laughs> again some people have, then again some, this is repetition this will decrease your band score. Yes. So you can say, for example, if I say, why, uh, sorry, what kinds of ambition do people have? So, well, it depends on the people. Yes. Some people usually like to go to foreign countries and fulfill their dreams. So this is their <laughs> ambition. On the other hand, others, now I'm not using again, some people have this, some people have that, some people other this. People, yes. So you can use different words and different structures. Okay. Never use one structure repeatedly. That will decrease your band score. Okay. Let's go on. Why should parents encourage their children to have ambitions? 
parents uh, should encourage uh, their parents to uh, children children's to uh, for their ambitions uh, because uh, they know the temperament of their children and uh, they uh, can do well for their future okay now this is a short answer you can add now whenever the question is about a reason categorize it like why should parents encourage their uh, children to have ambitions parents should encourage their children to have ambitions for various reasons first of all if children have ambitions in life they will try to work hard to achieve them so for this reasons parents must motivate their children to have ambitions secondly then talk about second thing okay yes. use different language different words this will increase your band score right let's go on last question uh is there any difference of ambition of grown ups and that of children grown ups means adults yes. so is there any difference of ambition of grown ups and that of children yeah of course uh, there is a, a big difference between both of them uh, actually uh, children have uh, ambitions about uh, uh, by uh, uh, some new thing just like uh, we can say Uh, electric car or motorbike but uh, uh, elders have uh, own ambitions they uh, may be uh, for uh, going abroad or uh, getting a good okay. level now have there are some grammatical mistakes okay but overall it's good at present looking at your fluency and all that i will give you 6 band but you can get 6.5 but i if you want to achieve 7 or more for that you will have to focus your grammar yes right and then variety of sentences not the same sentence or same structure you use repeatedly okay, okay. so i'll be giving you 6 but you may achieve 6.5 as well thanks